Hi everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am back with a book review. It was supposed to be my weekly reading vlog, but I actually didn't read that many books last week. I know I had mentioned in my goals for 2021 video and in a couple videos prior to that, that I wanted to get more consistent about doing my reading vlogs weekly rather than having the long like 25 minute video at the end of every month. But unfortunately my reading stats have been really down lately just due to life being really busy. So before I jump into all of that, just to give you guys a quick update, thank you to everyone who has been keeping me in your thoughts and prayers. And it looks like we do have an answer. It is my gallbladder. So I will probably be having surgery sometime in the next week or so, which is why I am here today with no makeup and I just don't feel very good. I'm in a lot of pain, but hopefully that will be resolved soon. So thank you to everyone who has reached out. And I promised you guys that I would keep you updated on my health even when I switched over to booktube. So yes, I'm still doing fine. Still cancer free, thank God. And hopefully this gallbladder surgery will resolve the pain that I'm having and uh, we'll just go back to normal life after that. So, so thank you guys again. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so and to give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. I really am enjoying doing booktube and I know it's been a transition, but I really love it. And I'm so glad that so many of you have decided to stay with me and go along on this reading journey with me because y'all know I love to read. I'm a bit of a book nerd. All right, so today I'm gonna to review the one book that I actually read last week. So I actually read three. One of them, I'm about halfway through. I didn't end up finishing it. One of them I DNF'd, which I'll talk about in my like monthly wrap up uh, about my DNF'd books. I got uh, quite a ways through the book and just was like, I can't take anymore and DNF'd it. And then this was the book that I read all the way through. So rather than have this be like a reading vlog, I thought, well, we'll just do a review of this book, right? So the book that I read was my book of the month book for December, and it is The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. And I actually really like this cover. It's pretty. I mean, it's, it's big. Sometimes I like these covers that are like um, more simple, I guess. I mean, it's got the staircase going up, which makes sense upstairs. But sometimes I don't need to see people or like really complicated covers. I like when they're just simple and pretty and, you know. Anyway, so the reason I picked this book is because it is supposed to be a retelling of Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And I love that book. I've read it several times. I've seen like a movie. I think there's one movie. Maybe there's two. I think I know I've seen one movie adaptation. Maybe I'm thinking of like Wuthering Heights or something. But I know that I read um, the book and I have seen a movie adaptation of Jane Eyre. And it's always been one of my favorites because it's so creepy. And then my sister told me she read a book that's supposed to be from like the standpoint of the wife. Um, her viewpoint of like how things went. I haven't read that one yet, but it's always been such an intriguing story for me because intriguing like what's really going on with the wife and then how did they not how did they not know that the wife was still alive? I don't know. If you guys have not read Jane Eyre, I just like spoiled a whole bunch of stuff for you, but I think most of us had to read this. At least I did. I read it in high school. Some people I think have read it in high school or college. I don't know if it's still required reading. Don't know. All I know is it's a good book. And if you have not read Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, you need to. It was written in like the 1840s, I believe. So it's around the same time as like when Jane Austen and all that was a thing. But really, really good, good book. And I was intrigued because there have been many people who have tried to do like versions of this story that modernize it. But I have to tell you, this is probably one of the best versions I've seen in recent years. And I really, really loved it. So if you do not know the story of Jane Eyre, then uh, you may want to read that or even just pick this book up and read it before I spoil it because unfortunately I'm going to have to give a lot of spoilers because you can't really talk through this book in great detail if you don't. But if you know the story of Jane Eyre, you know this story and so I'm not really spoiling anything. I mean, I, I went into this book knowing how the book would end because obviously I've read Jane Eyre. So, but I have to say this one did have a little bit of a twist. So anyway, as we go, the story is about Jane, obviously, and the man is Eddie. And it talks very openly at the very beginning that Jane is kind of running from her past. We don't really have details on what she's running from specifically until later in the book, but we know that she was raised in foster care, that she had a very rough childhood, and that something happened in her past that caused her to run and that she has taken on this false name of Jane, that's not her real name, 
and she is living life under this false name. And so she's moving around a lot and doesn't have a lot of money and she's, you know, very poor and she's taking whatever jobs she can take. So she takes a job as a dog walker in this like fancy suburban neighborhood. And while there, she meets Eddie, whose wife has gone missing at the beginning of the book, has been missing for a few months and they get to know each other better and they strike up a relationship uh, and they fall in love as she thinks in the book and as you can you know imagine from reading Jane Eyre and all that they had they form an attachment as they would say back in the day and in this particular book they do end up getting um, engaged and all of that so it should come as no shocker that the wife is in fact not dead she and she's not missing she is actually as the title says upstairs in a panic room which i thought was so unique so she's in a panic room and he's keeping her in this room and i won't ruin all the details for you because i don't think that what i've told you really ruins anything you can kind of tell from the title that she's upstairs but things are not as they seem um yes the husband is involved in disappearances but it's this real convoluted story of like her best friend and her best friend's husband and they go to this lake house and one of them ends up dead and the other one ends up in the panic room and who did it you know did the husband did the other husband do it did eddie do it why is eddie keeping her locked up it's all these questions that just go through your head and it's insane and at the end when the wife does get rescued from the panic room her reaction is not at all what you're expecting you're kind of like wait what Wait, what? Why is, she, why is she not like calling the cops right now? I'm so confused. So that's what I meant by it's a little bit of a twist ending, which I will not ruin for you. But I did love that even though it had so many twists and turns at the end and you were a little bit like surprised by the ending because it doesn't have the ending where the two end up together. Like Jane Eyre, I will just say that. It doesn't end like all nicely tied up like it does in Jane Eyre. But she did do a very good job at the very end of leaving you on sort of this like that was different but also very hopeful so i actually really loved this book i don't know if rachel hawkins has oh no it actually says this is her first adult novel this is her first novel so i can't wait to see what else she writes so i'm really looking forward to like finding her on social media or wherever and following her to see what else she writes because this was a really really good debut novel i'm super impressed and i really recommend everyone check it out because it's it's definitely one of my favorite books i've read in a while uh and it's not a romance novel which for me says a lot because you know i love my romance so anyways you definitely need to check this out for me definitely a five star book for sure and only a one steam because it's not a romance novel there's not a whole lot of like nastiness that goes on in this book there's not any gruesome murder scenes there's no real major cussing scenes i mean it's pretty tame overall it's done very like respectfully and it's just so such a good adaptation of jane eyre and yet it, and the, the other cool thing about this is that if you weren't told that it was an adaptation of jane eyre you, I mean, you would kind of know because it's kind of the same plot, but like it's different enough where like if you weren't told that, you would just think it's its own standalone novel. But then you kind of put it together that, oh, this is sort of like that book. Um, so she really just made it her own and I really love it. So definitely recommend it. I'm going to link a link to Rachel's website below if I can find her website. I'm sure she's got one because most authors do. So I'll link a link below to her website. And if you guys have a chance to check this out, highly recommend it definitely loving so far all the books I have been able to get from book of the month I've been pretty impressed with their books their their book choices so far so if you haven't checked them out I will also link book of the month below um probably I'll probably use my referral link just so you guys know but you can just go to book of the month and google it if you don't want to use that link that's totally fine but I'm really enjoying it and it's a good value so anyway let me know if you guys have read this book or if you've read any other Jane Eyre adaptations and what are some of the best ones you've read that you would recommend us reading. And if you've read this one, let me know what you thought of it. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.